Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Today, as you probably guessed by the title of this video, we're going to be talking about a car. I'm having a bit of an issue with the engine. It's a bit of an odd one, this one. Long story short, I bought this car from BCA auction without really paying too much attention because it's got the wrong engine. I mean, it has got the wrong engine, but it's the wrong choice of engine as well. It is the 1.2 PureTech that everyone kind of is very cautious of because it's got the wet belts, and as we all know, they're a bit of a nightmare. I wouldn't have bought it intentionally. I just wasn't really paying attention. I just think I liked the colour, and it looked in good condition. It looked like it would be a cheap bit of stock, so I left a proxy bid on it. And it wasn't until after I bought it I realised it was a PureTech, and the dread set in. There's not really anything wrong with the engine. It's a bit complicated. Let me show you the car first and then we'll go outside and I'll explain a bit more. It's in this kind of grey, mushroomy colour. It's a cactus, you know, some people love them, some people hate them. I think they're quite funky actually, but it looked to be a reasonable buy. It's only 56,000 miles, it's a grey two. It came with an essential report that said everything was all green. Um, the cap clean was 3,600 and it said it had a retail of 5,395. I think we've got it out for 5,795. I actually won it for 3,500, so under cap clean. So it should have been all good. Uh, in the end, I was quite busy and decided to have this delivered. And yeah, it's now outside, having been through our workshop because there is a bit of an issue with an engine management light and a limp mode. Let's head out onto the forecourt. We'll have a look at this car and I'll explain exactly what's causing us a problem with this car. So here is our C4 Cactus. As I said before, I think it's quite a cool looking thing. It does run perfectly fine. Well, I say perfectly fine. It'll run. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it around here and we can talk about the car and we'll have a look at the engine in question. As you can hear, it was a bit lumpy when we started up. And if you look in here, we do have our engine management light on. Now, turn it off and we'll pop the bonnet and I'll show you how stupid this problem sounds, especially when the mechanics came out and told me what the problem was. So, as we said, these 1.2 PureTech engines are not the most reliable. They've got the wet belt. What tends to happen is if they're not serviced enough and you don't use the right oil, it degrades the belt. That shreds itself, it fills up gauzes, it, starves them of oil, the belts snap, all sorts. I'm not an expert, but I know they're crap. This one has obviously been changed and it may well have been changed for a new one. It may well have been changed by Citroen. We don't have any paperwork with this car, unfortunately, to tell us exactly when it happened. But the reason this car has an engine management light on and it's complaining about fuel pressure and things like that is because the dipstick is the wrong color. This one's orange and it should be yellow. That sounds like quite a simple fix really, doesn't it? Like just the fact that that is orange and we need a yellow one. So obviously my first question was like, can we not just order a yellow one and stick it in? Facetiously, of course, because there's no way the color of the plastic dipstick is actually gonna affect how this car runs. What it means is while this engine was probably supplied by Citroen, they updated it slightly. And I think there's a few different color dipsticks. So the two common ones seem to be orange and yellow. If you look up this issue online, there seems to be loads of talk about this. It's, it's exactly the same engine. It's the same block, all the ancillaries and everything all fit on exactly the same, but they made some slight software change with it. So that if you put an engine with an orange dipstick like this one into a car that thinks it's got a yellow one, then it won't run right. There's gonna be issues with computers talking to each other and it thinks that the fuel pressure isn't high enough, even though it is. And in fact, the mechanics can go through their Autel diagnostics machine and it goes down and it tells you in a little locked grayed out section that this car is a yellow dipstick car. And obviously we've got an orange one. I don't know whether that's the reason this ended up in auction because someone's had an engine changed and they've had problem after problem with it after that, or maybe it's a new fault. Maybe it was okay for a while. I don't know. All I know is that currently this car's not much use to me. We have still got it advertised and we're explaining that it's going to have some work done. And it is in fact going tomorrow to Mobile Ecotune, who are hopefully going to be able to map around this or change some settings on it with some software that we haven't got. From our understanding, even if you take this to Peugeot themselves, they can't do it because their Peugeot software will be too modern and you need either 
an outdated old version of Peugeot software, whatever that is, from 2015, or you need, I don't know, something far more complicated to probably manually remap this out. But then, fingers crossed, we should have a new engine that's got a new timing belt. We can put a fresh service on it with all the correct oils and hopefully it will work together. It's gonna to cost me another, I'd guess another few hundred quid to get this sorted on a car that had very slim margins in the first place. But that's just a lesson for me to learn about being very careful when it comes to what I'm buying. I thought this was quite interesting. The fact that it's as simple as the wrong dipstick. Obviously it's, it's more than just that, it's the software, that's the real issue. Fairly certain Citroen would have supplied this engine and that may well be why all the service history has gone missing. I don't know, but it is an odd one. So, as I say, it is going off to Mobile EcoTune tomorrow. Fingers crossed they can sort it for us. That would mean that we could make a very, very modest profit, maybe about 500 pounds out of this car, but that is better than making a loss because if I was to send this back to auction now, it'd have an engine management light on, and I'm just not likely to get my money back. Keep your fingers crossed for me. We'll get this across to Western Supermare tomorrow. Hopefully they can sort it out and I will be back to give you an update as soon as I know. I'll see you then. If you haven't heard me talk about Vehicle Score before, it is the free car checking website where you can get a score on your car based on its age, MOT, history, mileage, and many other factors. All you have to do is head to vehiclescore.co.uk, enter your registration. I'm gonna use the registration of a Vivaro van that I have, and we're gonna check that and see how it scores. Ours is 804 out of 999, absolutely amazing. There is loads of information on here from the tax status, whether it's ULES compliant, whether it's currently got MOT, the vehicle performance, the insurance group. You can check out the MOT history, but most importantly, whether you're a dealer or you're just buying a car for yourself, you want to do a background check on that car and they can do them for as little as less than a coffee. £2.95 for the salvage report, £8.95 for the ultimate report, and 11.95 for the Ultimate Plus report, which is the one that I highly recommend. Don't forget to use my code SHIFTINGMETAL20. You'll get 20% off making that just £9.58. And it will tell you an awful lot of things about that car that you're gonna to wanna to know before you hand over your hard-earned cash. Whether it's been an import or an export, whether it's been seen at a salvage auction, whether it's got finance against it, whether it's been an insurance write-off and it's got a category against it, whether it's been an ex-taxi, stolen, scrapped, color change, whether it's been seen to be clocked, and many, many other things. So if you are looking to spend your hard-earned cash, make sure you don't just buy it, vehicle score it. Right, so here we are, it's a couple of days later, we are back in the Citroen C4 Cactus. It's come back from mobile eco-tuning in Weston, where it's been to have the wrong engine, wrong color, dipstick, low fuel pressure situation fixed. And the car is driving absolutely spot on. We have no engine management lights on the dashboard whatsoever, so they must have sorted it for us no actually uh, they couldn't do anything so the only reason there isn't an engine management light on in here currently is because i turned it off using my trusty top on top scan uh, just so that he could get out and have a test drive and kind of just say how frustrating this situation is because the car drives absolutely spot on that engine management light will come back on again there is no avoiding it unfortunately it still thinks there is a a fuel pressure problem but basically what we've been told is that with the equipment that the guys at Mobile Ecotuni have they can't tell it that it's got a different engine type basically they kind of got exactly the same sort of dead end that we got with our Autel system which was that we can see that in the software it's telling us what color dipstick engine it's expecting to have and this one is saying it's expecting a yellow dipstick and I think we got a red one. I think that's, I think that's the way around it was. Um, but they can't change it and we can't change it. And it would seem that the only way to resolve that would be to take it to Peugeot potentially and they would have to kind of like Starlink it to Peugeot France with someone who could backdate software in order to be able to change. It's a right nightmare, to be honest. What a what an absolute pain in the butt. You would have thought that this, this engine didn't have enough problems as it was, 
issues like this where you go and change the engine to an engine that Citroen have supplied and they can't make it work for you. So yeah, there would be that option, but it sounds like you can't find a Citroen dealership who's willing to do that or put a new engine in it and make sure you get one that's got the right dipstick and then I guess you would try and sell off the engine that you've got, but there wasn't much margin in this car in the first place and I certainly don't want all of that ball ache, to be honest. I uh, just don't have time for it. I, if I wanted to change engines on cars, I'd be buying non-runners, sticking engines in them, but that's not what we're doing. So I think the only option, as it seems to have happened with me with quite a few auction purchases recently, which is making me adjust my buying procedure, I guess, being more cautious. So we're just gonna send it back to auction again and you know, let someone else buy it and maybe figure it out or maybe not and lose money in the process and as a car dealer you do tend to kind of get used to the idea of losing money on cars every now and then dave got who runs a lovely car company and is on our dealer chat podcast every week has got a rule and he calls it the 80 20 rule so he expects 80 percent of the cars he buys to be winners and 20 percent are going to be duds either you're going to lose money or not make anything out of them so you know that is to be expected, but I am having a bit of a run of them, so I'm being far more cautious when it comes to buying now. I think I have to be. Um, so yeah, that is it. Although the car is driving along now absolutely perfectly fine, and to be honest, if they weren't such unreliable pieces of crap, the 1.2 PureTech engine seems to be pretty good actually. I think this might be the first one I've driven, and it, it picks up really well, it's really smooth. This C4 Cactus drives like quite a big car, it feels yeah, it's really nice. The whole car is in great condition. Other than the fact that it needed a new engine before 56,000 miles and the wrong one went in and Citroen can't help us with that. Seems great. So, yeah, irritating. I'm probably going to lose some money. I'm not going to go through that whole thing in this video and give you the price. We've done that in other videos. But what I will say is that I will be sending this back to auction. I think sometimes with these things where you, you buy a loser like this, and it wasn't on the report or anything like that. What morally, what can you do other than just send it back to where it came from and let if they won't take it back, let them sell it again and you know, just take your chances that way. If you don't follow me on Instagram already, make sure you do because I will put an update on there as soon as this goes through and I get a self build invoice telling me how much it actually sold for, I will let you know. So find me on Instagram, shifting underscore metal. That probably end up on Facebook as well. So if you don't follow the Facebook page, then follow me there. That will be the sad conclusion of this video. Isn't it funny that we've got like a Porsche Cayenne there, a BMW 730D, a Jag XKR supercharged in front of me. Then we've got a Range Rover Sport and a hybrid. And everyone says, you know, you need to buy run on the mill stuff, sensible stuff. I know a lot of you will argue that 1.2 PureTech isn't sensible, but Citroen C4 Cactus. I mean, if that isn't sensible and as humdrum as they come, then I don't know what it is. And it's the one that's uh, bitten me, which doesn't seem to happen with some of the other riskier cars. Interesting. Anyway, I am waffling on now. That is it for this video. But if you have enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. That will really help me feel much better about the loss I'm going to take on this car. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. As soon as we hit 100,000 subscribers, I am giving away a £4,000 Tudor watch. It's absolutely lovely with a Pepsi bezel on it. Gorgeous. We're giving it away completely free. So you may as well. It doesn't cost you anything and it'll really help us out. Don't forget to check out my Feel Good Competitions raffle for the Harley Davidson that you can win for just a pound. And that is it. It truly is it. I will see you in the next video.